Lyft's free PPE may inadvertently prove that Lyft drivers are employees. It's This Week in Rideshare News. Uber has been jumping through hoops by allowing drivers to pick their own pricing just so that they can remain independent contractors. Uh, while Lyft is giving away free PPE. Now, a few months ago, Lyft did gift over 150,000 sanitizing products and masks to drivers. Today, Lyft announced that they would be expanding their health and safety program based on the CDC guidelines. Now, with this program, all riders and drivers will have to certify that they are symptom-free, go through a small educational program, and wear masks. In addition, Lyft is distributing some driver partitions for frequent drivers and those in express driver rental programs in Atlanta, Denver, Baltimore, Washington, DC, along with other drivers in Los Angeles, Seattle, Boston, Phoenix, and Dallas, and New York City. And that should be happening right now. Now their blog reads that in the next month, we will have made tens of thousands of partitions available to US drivers for free with the goal of providing 50% ride coverage in these markets. Now we plan to expand to a total of 30 regions and provide partitions to a total of 60,000 drivers in the coming months. So while the subject has sparked a debate all over the internet, whether drivers should have to pay for PPE or be supplied any by Uber or Lyft, I thought one author really had a great point when she said that materials can't be given away for free without conceding that drivers are employees and i believe that's true if you do think that drivers are employees they should receive supplies to do the job now good workers rising had an interesting tweet that i'll share right here they also pointed out that only a small amount of drivers have access to the store if at all But I looked at the blog and the blog actually said that everyone will have access to the store by the end of the summer. So that might be a supply issue. So what is your stance on PPE? If you've worked during this time, more than likely DoorDash, Uber, Lyft, what have you, you've had to purchase your own PPE or wait to be gifted. What's your stance on this? Do you think it's their responsibility? Is it your responsibility? (laughs) Are you mad? Are you bothered? Does it even matter at all? Remember the defense attorney, the viral Uber guy, Jesse Bright, who filmed a police encounter after the officer told him it was illegal to film him? Okay. I know my rights. There you go. I hope so. I know, I know what the law is. I know the law. I'm an attorney, so I would hope I know the law. And an Uber driver? And it, here, man. And an Uber driver. Do you want my bar card? That was a pretty popular video. Now, Jesse just recorded another video showing drivers how to approach checkpoints. Now, he says that some states have ruled checkpoints as being unconstitutional and that they're just licensed checkpoints. So in this video, he demonstrates what to do at a licensed checkpoint. It's about 12.05 on a Friday night. And so I've stopped a little bit short of the checkpoint um, to give you guys kind of a quick rundown on what to do when you encounter a checkpoint. Because a lot of people get really nervous at checkpoints. What a license checkpoint means is that you go through, they're checking to make sure that you have a valid license because having a valid license is something that you have to have as a North Carolina driver. Um, Upon giving them the license, they check your license and they can kind of observe other things. So what they're looking for when they, after they've checked your license is they'll check to see if you have a headlight out, they check to see if your license is, you know, expired, they look to see if your registration is expired, if your insurance is lapsed, things like that. How you doing? You really want to down for me? You really want to down for me a little bit further, okay? Just a little bit further. Can you really want to down for me? Where are you coming from? Still live it in Raleigh? Have a good night, sir. 
See that? He asked me questions. He asked me to roll your window down. You didn't have to do none of that. So the video is six minutes long. There's a link in the description if you want to watch it. Please check and see if this is even valid in your state before you try this. Now, as Americans await the second stimulus, I want to remind you guys, those that have not applied for the SBA EIDL grant, it's still available. Independent contractors, freelancers, gig workers, Uber drivers, Instacart, you people, you people, you people. If you've been affected by COVID-19, you can receive a thousand dollar federal grant. I'll leave the uh, link in the description. If you have not applied for it, you do not have to pay it back. $1,000 grant, you do not have to pay it back. Okay, so now it's time for this week's What Would You Do? Basketball player named Winyan Gabriel, guys. He took a ride with a guy named John Bernard and the two spoke about John's reasons for driving and his health. When John dropped off Gabriel, he noticed that the guy's wallet was still in the car. Now he had no way to contact him, so he went back to the place where he dropped Winyan Gabriel off. Well, Gabriel was appreciative and tried to give him a $100 tip, but Bernard wouldn't accept it. So when COVID-19 hit, Gabriel was thinking about this guy and he actually deposited $2,500 into his account because he did not want this man to uh, drive during the pandemic. So imagine yourself in this position, you've got this celebrity or a very important person's wallet in your car. What do you do? What do you do in this case? I'm sure plenty of you guys have been in this situation. I have not though. I, don't, I have never been in this situation. I, not with wallets. Keys, yes. Keys, keys and coats. I took the keys back. The coat, I just put in one of those little recyclable things because they never asked for it. Appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for showing up here every single Saturday. If you want to get in contact with me, you can find me on Drive Girl Drive on YouTube or Facebook. Happily accept your tips for anything that you think that I should be paying attention to. Uh, and you can always um, subscribe if you're not subscribed because there's a lot of information on this channel. And uh, with that being said, I'm going to leave you to your Saturday. Hope you make lots of money and uh, stay safe out there and make sure you got your PPE, no matter how you get it. <laughs> no matter how you get it, you just got it and you should have it. <laughs> Bye.